Hello, so in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to um, add a, a um, logo for presentation purposes onto a coloured t-shirt. Um, just note that uh, tutorials in this series uses um, stock imagery. If you are a VCE student, you need to be taking your own photos for authentication reasons. So let's get further into this. Um, by the way, I've added the link to this image um, onto the description of this. So um, hopefully you have seen the first in this series, which is um, adding a logo to a t-shirt, a white t-shirt. This time around we have a red color t-shirt. Now, by the way, this um, video could also apply to anyone who wants to add, let's say um, a tattoo to someone's arm, for example. Okay, so let's go and do what we already know how to do. So we go to File, we go to um, Embed, Place Embedded. I'm going to bring in my coat of arms again. And I'm going to click on Place. So remember that here we are loading up a smart object. That's a smart object layer here. I'm just going to move this around and resize it down. Okay. So it's very important to use a vector-based graphics you not to design any logos in um, Photoshop. It is supposed to be done in Illustrator, okay? So here I'm using Photoshop just to create the representation or the presentation, really, it's a presentation um, of the logo on a t-shirt. Um, now let's reduce it down and size a little bit more. Um, just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to put it over here so we can work with it a little bit more um, while we are figuring out how to do the shadows. So I'm happy with that size and the placement. I'm going to double click. And remember that this is a smart object. I can resize this to the heart's con my heart's content and it won't lose any quality. Let's zoom into this. I'm pressing Z on the keyboard. I'm going to zoom in here. Um, that is just the fan of my computer starting up. Um, okay, so we see here that if I go over to multiply like previously or whatever other um, light modes, it doesn't quite work, yeah? This time round, we're going to be using um, other methods to create um, the shadow tone over top of this item here. So Photoshop, um, the current mode at the moment is in RGB. You can edit this in RGB. And then later on, if you're converting to CMYK, you do it then. So this is intended to be working with, um, with um, RGB at this stage in time. You can possibly do this in CMYK, um, not really recommended. So let's go over to the channels mode here, the channels. And what we're after here is, if I click on red, so remember RGB, red, green, and blue, I'm going to search for the, um, the channel with the most um, most description of the shadow and cleanest. So that is the red channel. I'm just going to go to my layers channel. I'm going to turn off my um, coat of arms. So this here is on my channel here, over here, my red channel. This is it. I like this sort of shadowing over here. So I'm going to go over to my red channel. I've got it turned on. Just the red channel is turned on. I'm going to press here um, option and then click no. Option doesn't work. Command click on it. And that there is selecting the, um, the darker areas of this um, channel. Okay. So I'm now going to go over to layers. Back to layers again. I'm going to turn on my logo. Oh, hang on. I need to go turn on the RGB again so I can see it again. We go back to layers. Here we go. So my coat of arms is turned on and I'm going to go over now and I'm going to go to make an adjustment layer and see how my selection's still turned on. Whatever my selection is, it's going to turn it into a mask. So I'm going to, going to convert this into an exposure mask. Okay, so here I'm going to play around with exposure. So check this out. Right? If I drag and around this exposure, it's adjusting the entire image, yeah? So I'm just gonna bring it back to zero. And if I go back to layers, yeah, and my exposure um, mask is there, if I go over to the center here and I press option and then click, I can make this exposure only adjust 
the coat of arms. So let's try this out further. I'm going to double click on the exposure and I'm going to adjust it now. Hang on a second, that's not what I want. Yeah, um, it's not really working out too well. Okay, so what I need to do now is I need to go over to my layers palette and I want to invert, so press Command I on that mask, so I've got that selected. And now I'm going to go to the exposure again, and I'm going to expose it differently. So you can see here how I can now put the shadows in of that t-shirt there, yeah? Right, so that's what I've done there. Okay, so depending on the color of the t-shirt, depending on what the design it is, um, depending on what channel you've used, you might have to invert it, okay? So now I'm going to go back to my layers. I'm going to move my Australian coat of arms over to its spot, knowing that I'm safe from doing all kinds of things. So um, for those who um, are doing um, tattoos, for example, um, you can now even just place it on the arm there, for example, and you can resize it, press Command T. Okay, rotate it around. Yeah. And you can resize it down. Okay, and that there is the um, coat of arms on that person's skin. Um, now that you know that a person could have used white ink or what have you, um, obviously you change around the blending mode so you can go to multiply so it looks like it's a legit on the on the skin over there. Okay, um, and you can reduce the opacity if you wish to. Okay, um, so. Um, I'm just going to undo this. There we go. So it's back into its normal location. I'm just going to move it across, and we're going to do those that warping again, just so you're aware of, um, you know, that you need to warp it. So here I've got the exposure done and everything like that. If I now go over to filter, so I make sure that I've got this here selected, this Australian coat of arms selected. I go to filter, and I go to liquify. And what liquify is going to do? is it's going to um, it is going to um, only edit the coat of arms so I'm just going to turn on the back the show backdrop again and remember that here I have mode behind as well on the preview okay so um, I'm going to use that um, same tool that I did before um, which here is the um, forward warp tool and I'm going to see here I'm looking from the center of this um, whole coat of arms I'm going to push this whole section in first yeah and then I come out pull it out again where it comes up and then I go further out I'm just going to press the space bar and move across I'm going to push it back in again to warp it and here I'm going to go on the other side of the bust and going to bring that in a little bit and I'm going to warp it over here as well there as well and you might want to sort of warp the um, Australia bit there for example just so it looks a little bit more believable and then click on OK and that there is set up as um, a, um, a smart filter mask on that t-shirt there yeah so here it is looking all fairly legitimate um, it's actually looks like it's actually on the t-shirt, right? And it's got the um, the darkness there and stuff Yep, and that one is that's how you do it there Okay, thank you. Bye